Hey guys, welcome to Racing Academy. My name is Pramod, and today I'm going to discuss about very uh, important topic uh, that I always wanted to discuss with you, which is basically top mistakes that I have done with the automation or test automation. All right, so let's discuss about these uh, mistakes that I have done quickly one by one. All right, so make sure you pay attention, and because you will learn a lot. All right. So before starting out, I will highly recommend if you are someone who want to become a better QA, you are at a right. Uh, place you are at a testing academy this is your host pramod and if you are someone who want to learn about api testing automation testing selenium make sure you check out these 30 days of challenge which will help you to crack the selenium automation or api testing related interviews all right so as that dot live slash 30 days is your link make sure you book mark it so let's get started with the video All right, so let's talk about the top mistake that I have done. And first of all, which is important, and I would uh, highly, highly recommend pay attention to this, which is selecting a wrong automation tool. Trust me, guys. Uh, this I have like nearly eight plus years of experience, and uh, we have selected some wrong automation for multiple times. So I have been into multiple companies, multiple big companies, I would say, and uh, I have seen. uh what people were people are doing is for example their language uh, your whatever the language that they have created their project for example it's a web application it's created in javascript they try to select the automation tool related to the java only and uh suppose it's made in javascript they try to select only javascript related tools and i have seen some serious issues in that case and right now if you see there are number of javascript related uh, javascript related uh, automation tool and you don't know which one to select they are basically not mature and if you select someone you will find certain limitation afterwards and you are stuck with it so pay attention to your automation tool that you are selecting right and if you take my advice i'm going to give you very simple advice if you are someone uh, then try to select the uh, automation tool or automation stack i would say which most of the people are using because most of the queries most of the code most of the problems that you are going to face are already answered over the internet right so for example selenium with java they has the most they it has more documentation as compared to selenium with python or javascript right so again that's the answer in a simple way uh automating the random scenarios i have seen this thing people are doing which is basically uh not straight forward scenarios they are just automating some random uh, scenarios and those are flaky in nature and what will what will happen they have 500 number of 500 test cases out of 100 uh, they are just failing they are keep on failing because they have just randomly automated these things right so make sure you pay attention prioritize your test cases and don't automate the random test cases right only the test cases that you have to automate which are you are doing repeatedly and those are basically your regression suite most of the time right no idea what to automate this is third point which is basically sometimes people have don't have any idea what to automate then i would highly recommend create a list of your backlog or regression suite that most of the people or functional qas are doing uh, prepare a list and just try to automate them by priority this is the easiest way that you can find out automating with no roi it basically means that uh, you don't know what is the return on investment when you have automated that scenario then i will recommend to to visit this link which is basically as that dot live slash roi and roi it's roi guys so you will learn about the how to calculate the roi of your automation and trust me learn it and don't make the mistake uh, if you don't know your roi of your automation right open source tool uh, sometimes people say that okay just select the open source tools and for couple of projects sir especially related to service companies uh, when i was in essential i have seen this problem where they have selected some open source tool and trust me that application that they have uh, they were working on it basically was in some related to c sharp and open source tools were not not good at that time right so selecting open source tools sometimes can uh doesn't help you to do automation right so make sure you pay attention to that automation maintenance is is cheap the this is one of the people uh, this is one of the mistake that i have seen people are making they think automation maintenance is cheap trust me it's not when you have 5000 plus test cases uh, maintenance is one of the important thing which will basically keep on bugging you and uh, i've seen as that's taking time to basically two days three days time to fix the uh, 
old automation test cases which are basically keep on failing and uh, they are losing uh, their confidence in the regression due to the maintenance course so make sure you create highly reliable test cases which are uh, robust and that can run very well right performing 100% automation again it's a myth and people are saying that pe your manager will definitely say that just do 100% automation right there's nothing like 100% automation i think uh, it's a myth right and what you can do is that you can calculate the automation coverage and what you have covered and what you have not covered you can just not it down right that's one of the mistake that people are making and uh, last one i think which is a uh, lot of people are making this mistake which is not sharing the report with stakeholder i don't know why you guys are not sharing the information with your stakeholders your stakeholders can be your manager your pm your developer right it can be anyone so whatever the automation that you have done whatever the testing that you have done whatever the pg rose bugs reports anything that is coming you have to share those things with the pm just let them know just send send them a email with the fii right just tell them that you have worked right people are just shy don't they don't send the report they just keep uh, on just uh, keep after they are doing the testing they just wait for uh, someone to ask them right don't do that this is very silly mistake this is very silly mistake trust me so make sure you send them the report tell them if they have any concern they would like to know and if they will ask you that okay you have so many failures in your automation they'll tell them that uh, there are a couple of scenarios which are failing uh, where they require high maintenance and we have manual tested and trust me it work fine so they will not uh, scold you in that case right so that will help you so these are the uh, top mistake that i have done with the test automation i hope you have learned something new in the video this is your host pramod and make sure you check out the videos thanks a lot for watching